Hi, Joanne here. It's October, so it's Dyslexia Awareness Month, and today uh, is October the 4th. I'm just reading this because of... Today is October the 4th, which apparently is World Dyslexia Awareness Day. So to celebrate that, I wanted to do uh, particularly this video about you know, when you get your diagnosis and you get your label, because I didn't discover that I was dyslexic or mildly dyslexic as they refer to it until I was 39. And I have a lot of mixed feelings about getting a diagnosis. And I thought, you know, let's just talk about this. But I'm quite glad that for me, I didn't get a diagnosis until I was out of school because I think for me I would have hung on to that and used it as an excuse not to do a lot of things and by the time I found out I'd already been to university and done you know in the dyslexic world they say how hard it is to learn another language well I'd already tried to do that and I'd, I'd found it hard but I'd, I was by that point intermediate in Spanish so I'd persisted and um, got somewhere but I do think I'm the type of personality that I would have used it as an excuse. But the other night, I was thinking uh, about the idea of to get diagnosed or not. And one of the things I was remembering from my own story is that what's the alternative? Because the alternative is not everything's fine. The alternative is you have no explanation, um, except for whatever your brain can make up, about why you're finding certain things hard. And for me, what my brain made up was, you're stupid. Because it, it made the most sense. If I was struggling in the classroom, I must be stupid because I looked around the room and everybody else was finding it a lot easier than me. In particular, some of the really easy questions that um, my teacher used to do this thing where she'd write on the board and then miss out a word and we had to put the fill, fill in that missing word and I could not get on you know connect with her and uh, sort of be like-minded and, and I just had no idea what she was talking about um, and yet the rest of the class seemed to find that easy so there's quite a few things that I found harder and I thought, well, it must be that I'm stupid. So if you're wondering about a dyslexic uh, label and wondering, I mean, that people are doing a lot more work now to stress the positive side of being dyslexic. But what I wanted you to think about today is that the alternative isn't just a, hey, you've got no label so you can do anything you want. It's a, you feel different, you feel weird, maybe the only explanation you can come up with is say you're stupid and then later on you get bored and fed up and frustrated and you and so then you have this huge confusion of well if this is all I'm capable of because I'm so stupid why am I feeling so bad, why am I feeling depressed, why am I feeling you know and this is why people talk about dyslexics and um and stress and sort of the mental, as I say, where the mental illness, but you know, that, that side of things is that there's a, there's a huge part within the community of people who are dyslexic who talk about the impact mentally. And it's because of this confusion. And I think it would really benefit people, even if it's just a, a self diagnosed test, fill out one of the questionnaires that you can do online and and have a little bit of an alternative explanation as to why you're finding something so hard. Um, and maybe to knock on the head the idea that you're stupid, because as soon as you stop believing that, and as soon as you have this alternative explanation, then doors can open for you. So I'm going to put a few links uh, below this video in the YouTube channel of a couple of online tests and things like that. If you want to find out more about dyslexia and consider that maybe you are dyslexic. But again, if somebody is saying to you, oh, the label's really bad, you say, yeah, the label has its downsides, but what's the alternative? What are people saying to themselves? 
about why they're finding certain things so hard. Happy Dyslexia Awareness Day and Dyslexia Awareness Month. Take care, guys. Bye.